WEHT Local Lifestyles continues. What are the differences between Medicare and Medicaid, and how do we properly plan? Well, elder law attorney Gary Price is here to walk us through those differences. It's good to have you back on the show. Good to be here. Thank you. Well, what are some of the most common questions that people ask you about Medicare and Medicaid? Well, a common question or a common confusion relates to the Medicare. What is Medicare and what is Medicaid? What does it cover? What does it not? Uh, Medicare is an insurance program. You pay for Medicare throughout your working life, basically. And Medicare pays for medical uh, expenses once you reach the age of 65 or if you have a disability. So Medicare, you're gonna receive Medicare when you reach 65, regardless of the assets you have. Medicare will pay, a lot of times this is in, uh, this question is asked in association with a nursing home. Medicare might pay, not will pay, might pay up to 100 days, 100 days of uh, nursing home care. But then after that, Medicare does not cover. Once again, it covers medical expenses. Medicaid, on the other hand, does cover nursing home. So, but you don't automatically qualify for Medicaid. There's a asset uh, qualification and there's a uh, income qualification that you have to um, overcome before receiving Medicaid. And how much time can last? Because let's say, for example, which happens a lot, you've had your, your 66, 67, 68, and you have surgery. Mm -hmm. And you have to go to a rehab facility for X number of days. You don't always plan for that. So no, how, do we, how do we get ourselves ready? Well, you, you sh first off, you need to plan for that. Because we do know, just like you said, it could happen and you don't know when it's going to happen. You know, they say elder law is about planning while you still can. Well, that's and, a good way to put it. And yes. so uh, it's always, it's never too early to plan for that event if that were to happen, but it can be too late. And so you have to be mindful of that. And the best thing to do is obtain the knowledge and understanding of the process. If it's Medicaid that you're concerned about, understand the knowledge, get a knowledge and understand the process that you go through for Medicaid and plan accordingly. So. It's never too early to plan, and that's really the best advice is even if, you know, I tell people all the time, um, a power of attorney is an important document to have. You may not need it, and you may be stubborn to the point and say you don't want it, but, but that's not the case. Get a power of attorney. Put it away. I always tell people, let, hopefully it'll collect dust, an inch of dust. Sure, But sure. you got it if right. you need it. Right. And so where, where should you store that? Let's say you're incapacitated and you can't tell anybody. Somebody needs to know where it is. That's right. Well, a lot of times I give someone a power of attorney and they name their, their uh, daughter or son. Right. Let the daughter or son know where it is. It's in a safe place. It could be in a fireproof safe. It could be in your lockbox. It could be in the top drawer of my bedroom uh, uh, dresser, or it could be at my attorney's office, but let them know where it is. Just keep them aware. You have your book here, and I know yes, we've talked about this in the past. Tell our audience about this and how they can acquire it. Yeah, yeah. well, thank you. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. It's, um, uh, you can acquire it by just calling my office. Um, my uh, number is 812-479-8721. Now, what's in the book, I, I wrote that book basically uh, based upon questions that clients ask me all the time. So a lot of misconceptions I discuss in there. Uh, again, it goes back to understanding the Medicaid process, and that's what this book is, is about. If you call my office, I'll be happy to send you a uh, free copy. Thank you so much, because this really does have great information. You've shared with me, this with me in the past. And these are confusing subjects that people do have a lot of misconceptions about. So turn to the expert and get the book and be ready. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Thank and you we'll much. be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us. There's a